beautiful humans and welcome back to my channel. Today, um, we are going to be switching me out of this, this beautiful, beautiful Kate Spade bag um, that's just, you know, huge and glittery and wonderful and into just a little handbag. I decided I need to go back to a smaller bag. This is a Target bag, which brand is it? Um, a New Day. It's just simple, white, little. It has both a handle and also a shoulder strap. So we're gonna switch into this. But first I thought we would do a what's in my bag video and kind of figure out what the heck is in here. Um, Cause there is a lot. So, got my energy drink and we're gonna get through this. So, first thing I'm seeing is um, some pens. I'm gonna put split things into two piles, things that are gonna go into the new bag and things that are gonna be put away or thrown away. So, we've got pens, will definitely go into the new bag. These are the um, Pentel Energel Liquid Ink 0.7 in purple, and then my Papermate Ink Joy 0.7s in blue and purple. So. Those will be going into the new bag. Um, we've got my vaccine card, will be going in the new bag. And nothing else in there. Next thing, we've got a check I need to deposit, so that's definitely going in the new bag. My phone, obviously. This case, the Black Leopard, it's from Target. Okay. Rice Krispie Treat, I don't think that needs to go in the new bag, but good to know I have it. Um, my retainer, that does have to go into the new bag. Um, and then also my little travel toothbrush and Colgate Optic White toothpaste. Um, my wallet, which is Kate Spade as well and super, super sparkly. I bought it when I bought this bag. That will go into the new purse. Mm -hmm. Another check I have to deposit. That one's my Rakuten cashback check, which if you want to join me getting cashback on all your purchases, it's in the description. Car keys, definitely will. Um, all my car keys, it's literally just my key. This rose gold keychain used to have a K attached to it, but it's gone. Um, my gym membership and my mail key. And this adorable little tarot keychain, that's my soul card. Um, okay. Some scrunchies in the new bag. Some, ooh, sunglasses. These are some, um, Wear Me Pros from that I got. Ooh, I don't remember which ones these are. I'll, I'll drop the name of these ones here, but these are the current sunnies I have in. I have a new order coming today with a few new pairs, so we may switch these out, but for now, these will go in the new bag. <laughs> I think I ordered another pair of those in a different color. Um, okay. This is a Barnes & Noble receipt in which I bought a notebook, the new Gabby Bernstein book, an Anne Boleyn book, um, and some Bridgerton books for a friend, but that receipt will go in the trash. <laughs> We've got headphones that are lightning, so those go with me, so I always have phone headphones. Which really I just need to get my AirPods back out. Um, we got a pack of tissues. Those might go in the new bag. Neosporin? No, that's not going in the new bag. My inhaler? Yep, that goes in the new bag. Um, the receipt for my nail appointment? <laughs> not going in the new bag. This is a sticky note that has hex codes on it. And I think they're the hex codes for my eye color um, for that TikTok trend. So that won't go in my wallet, but I will be, or my new purse, but I will be keeping that. We've got my Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer spray. Love that. We've got a Bath and Body Works champagne toast hand cream. This is one of my favorite hand creams ever. So definitely, and then my Youth of the People Adaptogen Mist Mini, also straight into the new bag. <laughs> uh, work keys, definitely, definitely have to go in the new bag. Gotta be able to get into work. Um, the Zycam, I don't think I need to put in there right now um, because I've been constantly taking my Airborne, so I think I'm gonna put my Zycam back up in my room. I think that is fine. 
Um, my checkbook. That also has a really cute Dutch Bros sticker, so that definitely doesn't go back in the bag. I kind of don't think I'm gonna put my checkbook in my new bag for right now. I kind of think I'm gonna leave the checkbook at home for a little bit because I don't pull it out of my bag very often. So I think we're gonna try leaving my checkbook at home because who writes checks anymore? Not very many people. Um, we've got a Bic uh, mechanical pencil and a Pentel RSVP in black. So I gotta keep those. And I like to have a pencil, a black pen, a blue pen, and then I always write in purple ink, so I always keep at least one purple pen with me. So I have two purple pens right now, but shh. Um, we got this little gem hairbrush mirror compact thing. That's not gonna go in my purse, um, but it's very cute. We bought it actually for one of our girls playing Sharpay to use last summer, and then I decided not to turn in the receipts for props and I kept it, because I thought it was really cute. <laughs> Um, then we got my two favorite lip balms. This is the Aquaphor Lip Repair and the um, Co Bigelow Lemon Lip Balm. Those are my two favorites. So those definitely go in the new bag. <laughs> yeah, so we found more scrunchies. So I'm gonna put the scrunchies in the no pile until I make a decision, because I don't think I need four of them. But uh, these two are just like a basic cotton scrunchie. This one's pink and velvet, and this is um, a dew. Um, Caitlin Bristow scrunchie. I love it. I have a blue and a pink. I love them. Okay, then masks. Gotta have those. Um, little Purell wipes, which may or may not go in the new bag. Another mask. A big pack of Purell wipes, which maybe because I'm using a smaller purse, I'll put the little ones in there, not the big one. Um, and a variety of tampons. And the last thing in here, I think, let me double check. Yep, very last thing is some nail clippers. So, there's a lot of stuff, but now this bag is empty. So we're just gonna plop that over here and we're gonna go through. So we know that these receipts are trash. The Zycam is going upstairs, so is that code and my checkbook and this guy, and this sticker, and the Neosporin, and I think the big wipes I'm gonna leave at home, because um, I have a couple packs in my desk at work, so that'll be fine. Um, so those receipts are garbage. This Rice crispy Treat, I might just eat after I film this video. Um, okay, so then we can start organizing. So we have the, this bag has a tiny, tiny inside pocket, so it's perfect for just the tampons. In that bigger bag, I have the Purell wipes, the nail clippers, the tampons, the masks in there. And actually, maybe I can fit the Purell wipes in this one too. It's just kind of like narrow. Yeah, we'll put the Purell wipes in there too. So, so far, we've got tampons and Purell wipes. It's a start. Okay, um, then we've got all these keys and things. The problem with this bag is there's not really, and I mean the same with the big bag, there's not really any interior organization, so it's kind of hard and you've gotta kinda just figure out where you want things and what you want to be most accessible. So, um, I am going to, because I don't have any side pockets really, I'm gonna put my um, work keys on my car keys, which I normally don't do, um, but for now I think that's the best, best option. So I'm just gonna attach those. So now I've got my work keys and my car keys all on my tarot keychain. Um, but these will go towards the top of my purse. I just wanted to combine them. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the uh, white scrunchie and the blue scrunchie for now. So these two will go upstairs. Um, nail clippers definitely, actually, now that I'm back to doing dip powder, the nail clippers don't have to be in my purse anymore. Now that I actually am getting manicures again. So those are gone. Okay. Um, let's just go like bulkiest things at the bottom. I'm gonna put my inhaler in with my retainer. So that this bag just always kind of 
days together. And actually, maybe my vaccine card in there too. Just kind of like all the things related to the care and keeping of me, who caught the reference, uh, in one bag. So this has retainer, toothbrush, toothpaste, inhaler, vaccine card. And that I'm just gonna tuck into the bottom of the bag. Along with the pack of tissues, and the hand sanitizer, my face mist, and my hand cream and lip balms. So that all I know is at the bottom of my bag. I can easily get to it because I know it's there. Then my assortment of pens, my scrunchies, wrap up these headphones correctly maybe <gasps> maybe if they want to untangle i really need to get some like little makeup bags in here but i kind of got rid of a lot of my old like ipsy ones so i need to find some things i like um and use those so connect the two earbud sides and wrap my old bosses I worked with in the media department in college would be appalled by how I just wrapped that wire. Shh, they don't watch my videos, it's fine. Um, then we've got sunglasses, wallet, these two checks that I need to cash, I'm just gonna kinda tuck to the side so I remember to go to the bank this morning. And then, masks. So, it's full, right? Like, this bag is very full um, as it stands, but, Honestly, that works for me because the reality is once I get to work, I don't dig through this bag very often. I only go through it if I like, really need something. I get everything out that I need at the beginning of the day and then tuck it under my desk. Um, if I'm out and about, really the only thing I'm grabbing for is my wallet. So for now, I think this will work. I'm still looking for a new handbag. I wanna buy a new, a new bag. But for now, switching into the smaller bag, it just felt like the right move. Um, it's still, if I took the checks out, it still would zip. So I feel pretty good about that. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know the most essential thing in your handbag right now. Hit subscribe if you're new and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.